You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, boy, we're in class right now. Zoom. We're talking about integrating by partial fractions. Oh, boy. So, at the beginning of this video and at the end of this video, there's a playlist. Just click on that playlist and all these examples plus every example that I do for integrating with partial fractions after this will also be in that playlist. So this playlist, will, blah, 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 blah. this playlist will expand on over here. Oh boy. You still coming? Oh, look at you. Hi. The hard part about partial fractions, oh, let me get you over here. The hard part about partial fractions, wow, that's kind of bright. You're bright. <laughs> All right, the hard part about partial fractions is actually separating them. So the playlist first starts out with three examples of separating fractions. Partial fraction decomposition. Yeah. All right, so these are with linear denominators. That's going to have two terms. This is with a repeated linear denominator that's going to have three terms. What is this? What is this? It said it was doing something. Oh no, the battery's dying. Don't worry, we'll cut that part out. This one, three terms. This one, that's going to have a linear term and a quadratic term. Well, the numerator will be linear, the denominator is quadratic. So those three start the partial fraction decomposition so that we can integrate by partial fractions. When do we want to integrate by partial fractions? When we have no other way to do it. First you always try use of. That's cheap and easy, right? <clears throat> Then what? Then what? Everything else you try, but sometimes you still can't. And when you can't, then look at those denominators. If the denominator got like factors, you can split those. The rest of these aren't quite so obvious. But whenever you're first presented with an integration problem, you look at the powers of the numerator and denominator. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this denominator has larger degree. So you're going to start with division, all right? Not to divide the room, this one has the same degree numerator and denominator. So start with division. That'll part your paces, mm -hmm. and then you'll separate that fraction further. This one here, it, it looks like it's by parts. And you know what? You might be able to do it by parts, but on this one, there's a fancy substitution. If you let that numerator be all that, then there's some things after that. But if you want to see those and partial fraction decomposition, click the playlist at the beginning or right here at the end.